Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to finish up the dice tool um, by making sure that it resets each time the button is pressed and that we don't leave all of these number of dice on the screen and make it a fully functioning tool. So, um, to do that, we have to be able to um, select all the dice in the scene. So, let's look at that. Here, so we need to be able to select everything in this list and then uh, once everything is selected, be able to delete everything but the D6. Um, since this can actually be kind of a standalone tool without using all of this, I am going to write it separately and test it out and then we'll stick it into here. So I created a new file um, so that I could test everything out. And then um, and you can do that just by going file new and I'll create a new tab up here. Um, and then we'll make sure that this part of the code works and then we can stick it back into the other. So um, like we said, we want to be able to select the geometry. So um, we can see inside of Maya when we select something, the command is select. And you can look at the reference editor or the reference guide, Python reference, um, if you want to, to look at all the settings. But I'll look, I'll let you, I'll show you kind of how we can go about it. So, um, so. The first thought of um, doing it is to select everything in the scene and then um, setting that to true. Um, so I did one, but you can also type in true, same thing. Um, so if I select all, let's see what happens with this screen right here. Selects everything in the scene. Um, let's see if we've only just selected the um, things that we need. So mc.ls. ls is a cool script. Um, it l creates a list of objects. And depending on what the settings you have, um, it will create a list based off of whatever specific objects you've um, set as its parameters. In this case, um, SL, which will be um, for a selection, and then equals true. So we're going to create a list based off of the selection. Um, and we got to set that to a variable. So let's say SEL equals this list. And then let's test it out by doing print the selection. So let's copy this and test it out here. So here we can see that we have polycube one, UI configuration, scene configuration, UI blend. So we're actually deleting the shaders, the material file, info nodes, a whole bunch of extra things that we on the surface looks like we didn't select, but when it, we say select all, it selects every single node that is edible inside of the um, Maya file, which is not the case that we want here. So let's see how we can modify this. And um, work with it. So we know we don't want to do select all. Um, we can try select uh, with by a name. Um, the only problem is that when we look by name, each time we run the button, we don't know how many of these dice we are actually creating. But there's a little workaround for this. 
um, what we can do is give it a wild card. And wild cards are um, represented by an asterisk. So we can say D asterisk. So we know each one of the um, dice will start off with D. And um, we want it to fill up with anything after that. So if it has a beginning letter with D and it has anything after it, then we're going to want to use it. Um, we'll see if this works because there might be other things in the scene that start with D right now, but I don't think so as long as we have the file just created the way we want. If you had the dice actually created, um, instead of just D6, you wrote out dice six or something like that, or die six, um, then you'll be a little bit better off. But um, we'll try this right here to see if that works. Uh, so we go back to Maya. So here we have the D6 and then the shape node, D7, then the shape node. So we're actually selecting the um, transform nodes and a few other things, default renders, but those things we don't actually need right now. We just need the D6. But let's um, look at how we can clean this up even more because we just want the transform nodes and we don't want those extra things at the end. So let's go back here. Um, inside of the selection here, we can add um, TR, which makes sure that we are only selecting anything that has a transformer node and adding it to that list. So let's copy this and paste it there and see what we got here. And this is awesome because we have every single thing in here selected. Um, other that only the transform nodes and only the dice. So we don't have any extra nodes in there that would be um, unnecessary. So you might say, well, if we did that, we could have done it with um, the select all. Let's try that to see if we can uh, make it work with just all. Although I think it's going to pick up a few things, but we'll check right now. All equals true. And we have the dice. Actually, that works perfectly well for what we want. We are um, only selecting the dice. So you can do that either way. Um, in this case, maybe I'd lean towards doing the all, because um, that seems to work pretty well um, without having to do the D, but both ways work. So right now, We've created a list, um, but we can't modify the list on a global scale like that. We need to go into each individual item inside of the list. Because if we remember from a previous lesson where we were discussing list, um, it's a collection of variables. So we have a collection of all these individual um, object names. Um, oh, and also we want to be able to make sure that we um, deselect the D6 because we don't want to delete that, right? So let's change that value here. So we're going to want to do mc D select, and we're going to say D6, but not D5, D6. Um, 
Um, okay, sorry. So the command is actually going to be select. And we're going to do deselect equals true. Um, so deselect is actually a flag within the select uh, command. So let's do that. Uh, maybe it doesn't just work with the letter D, so let's try the whole word, D, select. Uh, let's check what's going on. Oh, we need a comma. There we go. So if we look now, um, D6 is deselected from the list. Um, I believe that if we did do D, that will still work. It was just that we were missing a comma before. So let's just double check that. Yeah, it works fine. Okay, so we need to create modify each one of these individually so um and actually we want to set the d6 value to go to zero so let's do that first on um, mc dot set adder uh d6 and d6 dot tx and we are going to make that equal to zero so that resets our x value that we've been changing, and it brings it back to the origin. Then uh, let's do the next part of it, where we want to start affecting everything else. So let's do a for loop. So we have four x in cell. So what this does is it checks um, we created a variable here, and then cell is selection. So it's going to do something for each item inside of this list. Um, so what do we want to do to that item? We want to do mc.delete and do x actually let's change this since we're using x in the other um loop let's do i so for i in selection mc dot delete and we want to do i and that's basically what we want to do so let's copy this and check the code cool that resets it so let's look at where we want to put that so let's put that right here right before our while loop and we want to make sure that all of this is indented and we don't need to import maya because that's already done So here we have everything working correctly. We have um, it selecting it and um, resetting the X value. And we need to indent this. There we go. And then um, deleting everything in there. So let's copy all of this script and just make sure that it works as a whole. So running once, that works fine. Let's increment this by 10. That works fine. And then let's go back to one. Awesome, we can do three. Excellent, so, so the script is working fine. We're resetting the tool each time and you got your whole fully functioning first script done that manipulates objects into your scene and 
um, works with a single click. We talked about creating things and putting a shelf. If we wanted to, um, let's create a new shelf because I don't have that die there. Do it one more time. Let's uh, create a new shelf. That's going to be die. And I have that there. When I click on that button, it gives me the option to use this tool. So we have it all integrated within a shelf. Um, in previous lessons, we looked at how to customize this shelf. I won't go into it again here, but um, everything's working fine. You got your first fully functioning script within Maya. So this is the end of my Python 101 for um, Maya users. And there's a lot more that we can cover and we went pretty quick, but it gives you a taste of kind of a lot of the basic elements that you can use in my, um, Python within Maya to get control over objects. Um, with a lot of the stuff that we have going on here, like set adder, you can really at, um, change any attribute of any object with your Python code by setting attributes and expressions together um, to make that work. So um, yeah, um, congratulations and um, Good luck with your future endeavors with Python. See you guys in future lessons. Bye.